Imagine this. You have an app in production with thousands of users and you're about to launch a new feature. You're excited, but you're also a little nervous. Oh, and it's Friday. What if the new feature causes crashes for some users? What if it's slow and laggy? What if it's just not very popular? You don't want to risk damaging your app's reputation or losing users, so you need to be careful about how you launch the new feature. Having felt this release risk many times myself, I'm really excited to show you two upcoming features that Firebase has been working on and will be launching in the coming months that can help bring confidence to your release process and make managing feature launches safer. The first is a new release monitoring dashboard powered by Crashlytics that will allow you to monitor the adoption and stability of your new app release all in real time. The second feature we've been working on is rollouts in remote config. Rollouts will combine the power of Crashlytics, Google Analytics, and remote config to allow you to gradually ramp up traffic to new features while keeping an eye on your app's performance. To give you an idea of how this works, let's imagine I'm a mobile app developer. I've been iterating on a trendy new feature to bring a dark mode theme to my app. I've been testing it with some beta testers behind a feature flag, and now today, the time has come to launch it to the world. I hit feature completion in version 8.2 of our app. Now, before I launch my feature, I'm curious to see how many of my users have upgraded to this new version. Are there any unexpected crashes on certain devices or OS versions? Let's check out the new release monitoring dashboard powered by Crashlytics to see how adoption is growing and check in on the stability of my release. Great. I can see right up top here that my release was successful. On the right, I'm seeing 74% of my users have adopted the new version. Here, I can see that my crash-free users numbers are looking pretty solid. I can also dig in and see the top crashes that are happening in my new version. I'll go ahead and ping my teammates to investigate these issues. They look pretty minor and won't require us to push a new version of our app. So now that I feel good knowing my binary release is out and stable, it's time to start rolling out dark mode. In order to do that, I'm going to come to remote config to kick off my rollout using the feature flag I mentioned earlier. Because this is a fundamental feature that affects the experience of my entire app, I want to play it safe and start by just enabling it for a small portion of my users. I'm going to turn it on for 5%. And note that I'm using Remote Config's version targeting option to only target my users on version 8.2 and above for this rollout. And we've got liftoff. Now that my dark mode feature has been live for some time and users have had a chance to interact with it, I want to check to make sure my app is behaving as I expect. Let's pull up the rollout details page in Remote Config. Uh-oh, Houston, we have a problem. I can see here that the users with dark mode enabled are experiencing more crashes than my users who don't have it turned on yet. That's a really good indicator that my feature is causing some problems. But hey, these things happen. That's exactly why my team and I launch slowly and monitor things when ramping up traffic. Since I coded the feature behind a feature flag, I can take advantage of the power of remote config and quickly roll it back, which will mitigate the immediate issue and give me some time to take a look and fix things up. Hey, hey, I'm back with a newly released version of my app that has my latest fixes in, and I'm ready to start rolling out my dark mode implementation again. I'm going to ramp my feature back up to 5% and keep an eye on my metrics to make sure that the feature is now stable. Now that I'm sitting at 5% of my users, I can see that my crashes have stabilized and I'm not seeing any elevated numbers for the enabled group. Oh, and hey, look, I'm seeing some increased engagement metrics. That's great. This is exactly what I was hoping to see for this launch. Now that I'm feeling confident about my new feature and my most recent fixes, I'd like to ramp it up for 20%. I might let this sit for a few hours to be extra certain that nothing else is broken. Awesome, things are still looking good at 20%. At this point, I'm ready to roll this out to 100% so all of my users can enjoy my dark mode theme. So as you saw in this demo, we at Firebase are planning to give you the tools to confidently release new features and deliver the best experience to your users. I use the upcoming release monitoring dashboard to see the real-time adoption and stability of my new app release. And with the upcoming rollouts feature, I gradually launched dark mode and monitored crashes and key business metrics. And I was able to immediately roll back my feature when I uncovered an issue, reducing a lot of the stress that comes with these kinds of launches. And that's it. Both features are in early access and will be launching next year in 2024. If you're interested in trying these features out early, check out the description below for more info. In the meantime, update to the latest remote config and Crashlytics SDKs to make sure your app is ready to roll when they launch.